Yeah, y'all. Um, it's launch week, baby. Yeah, so, you know, your boy's been kind of gone, and actually, I'm recording a bunch of videos at once, so I'm going to schedule them to release so I can then start to be more consistent for y'all, but that's, that's a story for another day. It's been a minute since I made a Spider-Man 2 vid, and it's only right to at least make a couple the week that we get it, that we get it. This was it's dropping on Friday. At this point, when y'all see this, it'll probably be like in two or three days. So... I'm excited. I know y'all are excited. We just got the story trailer a couple days ago, and the story trailer showed us some crazy ish. And we're gonna talk about it, you know, right now. Now, the first thing that really kind of caught my eye in this trailer, which isn't really the, the first thing, I mean, the whole thing was cinematic, it was beautiful, it, it, just, it just all looked good. But was that we officially got our first look at Sandman, who we did not know. This is your boy speaking from a person who doesn't know about any of the leaks. I haven't paid attention to any of them, haven't read them. I don't like spoilers. Point is, I didn't know Sandman was going to be in it. We knew with some of the collectibles that you could get that he was definitely here in this universe, had been around, whatever it was. But the fact that, you know, we actually saw him in action is crazy. And we knew it was going to be star studded as far as the villains go, but I just think that's really crazy. Sandman is always going to be one of the most popular ones, and it just, it you know, it's going to give for like a huge cinematic fight. Last time we fought Sandman in a Spider Man game, I think was in Shattered Dimensions. So, you know, I didn't play Edge of Time, and I don't remember it being in any of the ones from PS4, so I could be wrong, but I don't, I don't think so. Maybe it was in the Amazing Spider Man 2 one. But all that aside, it's going to be lit fighting Sandman. And the way they revealed him was hilarious to me because they really had Pete ask Miles, like, are you sure this is not something you can handle by yourself? And Miles is like, I'm sure. Like, <laughs> And then they show Sandman. And I'm like, right. That's a lot of that's a lot to be handling by yourself. And the other thing that caught my eye was the encounter between Martin Lee and Miles. <laughs> we already know that they're natural enemies in the sense that, like, Martin has responsible for what happened to Miles' pop. So... You know, we already knew he was going to be in it with the launch trailer or the official story trailer, whatever the first trailer was that we got that was showing some cutscenes. We knew he was going to be in it, but we didn't know if they were actually going to end up fighting or not. And then this one, they let us know they going to be scrapping. So that's another villain that we're going to have to see probably more than once. And, and by the way, just jumping back to the Sandman one, I know they had Miles say, I'm sure, about not being able to handle it by himself. And then the clip they showed was actually Peter fighting Sandman, which was lit. But then if you notice too, it seemed like Miles came in and Pete was surprised to see him. Miles, this is crazy. So I'm sure they're gonna have a fun now. Miles is gonna be doing his super the superhero thing, wondering where Pete's at, and you know, Pete's just focused on healing Harry and, and then he's losing himself, you know, because of the symbiote. So this gives us gives us a little bit more details of how the story's gonna go. And speaking of Pete losing himself. It kind of brings me to the third thing that really stuck with me, aside from, you know, actually seeing the symbiote get on to the other person who's going to be Venom, but we'll talk about that in a sec, was him losing his personality and really going to the dark side. Word to the way he was speaking to MJ, he was like, I'm the hero here, not you. That was kind of crazy. And let's just be honest, she's helped him out too. I mean, they all heroes at this point, you know what I mean? Now the fourth thing, you know, going back to the Venom symbiote climbing onto that hand that we saw, we still don't know who that is, but the point is that they have him also saying, oh, do you want to join us as they show the symbiote get onto that hand? You want to join us? But who knows if that's who he's really talking to, like, the assumption is that he's already latched onto that person, and that's Venom recruiting, like, Sandman. Like, I feel like Venom is going to recruit Sandman, maybe he even recruits Martin Lee, I don't know, but... That's kind of what it seemed like to your boy. Not to mention, it'd be kind of on brand. I mean, because we all played the first Marvel Spider-Man game where he had to fight the Sinister Six and they were all recruited by your boy Doc Ock. So it would be funny if they followed the same formula, but it, it would make sense. Venom is like, yo, let's just take out these heroes right now. At this point, they may have probably already beat Kraven and got him up out of there. So now their beef is with the two Spider-Men. Now the last thing that I feel like is mentionable for kind of breaking down this launch trailer is of course seeing norman be all frantic talking about how get the symbiote off of him now we don't know who him is get it off of him for some reason i feel like it's kind of early in the game where it's maybe not really working on harry or, or maybe it is working on maybe it's a time where it's working on harry still don't know if he's gonna be venom at some point maybe not maybe he's just talking about it being on peak we have no idea but norman was freaking out a little bit but yeah, y'all, that's all I really have for this vid. I know we're all really excited. Again, when you see this game's gonna be coming out in like two or three days. 
So I know we're hype. I think I might be able to get one more Spider-Man vid in before it actually officially drops. One where it's not maybe so much of a breakdown, but if y'all didn't see this vid of mine, the five things vid, y'all should go check that out because a lot of the stuff that I said I gotta see in the game, they confirmed when Brian Interhar did that other interview. And you know, I'm gonna try and put some clips together, put a vid together, explaining some of the stuff that I was saying I wanted to see that he said he, he had in the game. I never made a video after the creators gave us our feedback, so I'm your boy's just been a little bit a wall. But I love y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the links in the description, and I'm gonna catch y'all in the next vid. All right, peace. Uh...